Hey guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today. This is your second stimulus check update and your stimulus package update for Monday, September 7th, 2020. The Democrats, unfortunately or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at it, are losing negotiating power. I'll share why here in a minute. Donald Trump wants Congress to approve the $300 billion from the CARES Act that's left over just for stimulus checks. He just wants them to approve it and he'll release it and it'll be stimulus checks and everybody who got stimulus checks last time would get them again. Unemployment that was signed from the executive order over a month ago is actually going to run out very soon. This is another reason why another stimulus package is needed soon. <laughs> Senate is going to return into session to tomorrow, not today, tomorrow, and so Hopefully, they will talk about these things and get the ball rolling. Get it. Get it, let's go. Hey, if you aren't already subscribed, click the subscribe button right now. It's totally free and it helps the channel out tremendously. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. So the reason why the Democrats are losing negotiating power is because of the unemployment numbers that were just recently released. Economists are saying well, have said that they didn't think we would be below a 10% unemployment rate till at least the end of the year this year. So another four months, they didn't think we would be there. We're already at 8.4% 8 .8 unemployment, which is phenomenal. It's terrible, but it's a lot better than people were expecting. For this reason, Donald Trump is wanting Congress to say yes to approve the $300 billion to be released and set aside for stimulus checks and sent out as stimulus checks. Currently, it's in a bank account and he can't use it and he can't change what it's used for because Congress has to approve what that money is used for. He wants to use it for stimulus checks. He's waiting on the approval of Congress. He said, now we have $300 billion in a bank account we didn't use from the CARES Act and we're willing to use that meaning the White House and the Republicans are willing to use that money. I would be willing to release it subject to Congress approving it and use that as stimulus money. It would go right to the American people. So we have 300 billion sitting in an account that we didn't need because things are going so well with the economy. He continued to say, again, we have 300 billion ready to go. All Congress has to do is say, use it. If they say use it, I'd like to use it without permission, but I guess I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> I did ask the question, so Congress just has to say use it. All they have to say is use it. So once they say use it, then he's just allowed to use that money and they don't have to do anything else. They don't even have to, I don't think, pass anything. They can just say use it and he'll use it. Really, he can probably just use it without their approval and he's probably going to be okay if he used it Technically, there could be lawsuits and yada, yada, yada. The actuality and reality of the situation is that we're a couple months before election. If he were to use it, whatever politician would come out and file a lawsuit against the White House would be because that money is going directly to the American people in the form of a stimulus check or direct payment, whatever. And if that politician says, no, I didn't want that to happen, any person who was supposed to get that money is going to be ticked out of their mind at that politician. So the reality of the situation is that he probably can do it on his own if he has to, but he's wanting to avoid that. He's saying, Congress, just come to me and say, yes, we want you to use that. And then he'll use it and he'll release it and it'll go to the IRS and they'll send it out to people in forms of stimulus checks. That is what should happen. That's what we're all hoping will happen. And if that were to happen, you could honestly have a stimulus check in the next few weeks. The IRS is going to be much quicker. Remember, they just hired 5,000 employees to be able to send out these stimulus checks. I believe the Republicans have been planning this from long ago. They proposed the $500 billion bill, remember? And that bill had no talk of a stimulus check. And I was like, what the heck? What are they doing? They've talked about stimulus checks this whole time and then all of a sudden they don't put a stimulus check in this $500 billion bill. I'm like, what the heck are they doing? But I think that they've known this whole entire time that they wanted to use that 300 billion for stimulus checks. So they're saying, yeah, 
let's do 500 billion or even hey let's do a trillion and include some stuff that the democrats want such as money for the post office money for state and local governments up to 150 billion and let's do that and we can do stimulus checks with this extra 300 billion so i think they've had this in the plans for quite some time and i think they're just now kind of getting to it because they're at the point where they want those checks to go out remember months ago we were talking about how they're going to use this to get votes they shouldn't but they are they're going to use it to win over votes win over popularity for this election coming up so what's the perfect time to do that oh what do you know you just got a check from whoever you think approved it whether it's democrats or republicans you just got this check and you're a few weeks before or a week before you're gonna vote or two weeks before you're gonna vote what do you know you're more likely to vote for whoever you think approved that check i think we're getting to that point where they're really gonna put the pressure on to come to a deal to get those checks out before the election so before november i for sure believe that checks are gonna be out Unemployment from the executive order is going to run out soon. There wasn't a lot of money in the FEMA account to send out for disasters to begin with, let alone to support 50 states of unemployment and over 28 million people who were unemployed. So that money is running out quickly. Some states like Arizona have already sent out like five weeks retroactive and going forward of unemployment pay. Other states haven't even started paying yet. Many other states, a few states haven't even been approved yet. What's gonna happen is that money is eventually gonna run out. Once that money runs out, then we need another stimulus bill to be passed, whether it's a $500, or $500 billion package, a trillion dollar package, or a $2 trillion package. Each one of those has money for unemployment in it. And so with that, there will be more unemployment boost from the federal government coming. I'm not sure exactly how much it'll be. It'll probably be similar to this executive order where it was three or 400, depending. That's what I would be expecting. I do believe another unemployment bill is going to be passed or law or whatever, and there will be more unemployment boost. It's just a matter of when that bill will pass. Hopefully, with the checks being approved, that'll alleviate some stress in the negotiations, and then they'll approve another package possibly quicker senate is going to return into session tomorrow this is great news this means that we're going to have talks again we're going to have communication and they're going to be able to say hey use that 300 billion or hey use that 300 billion and we want to pass this bill the republicans are supposed to propose another bill we'll see how it goes we'll see how things happen i'll be sure to bring you guys the most updated up to date news on all the stimulus matters and any other financial news. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Thanks for supporting the channel. If you aren't already subscribed, go ahead, click the subscribe button. Helps the channel out tremendously as well. If you don't mind clicking the like button, I appreciate it. Take care, have a fabulous day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.